What it is, it's your boy Grandmaster Matt. We back here with Assassin's Creed the Syndicate. And what news you got? Teamwork, I tell you. Anyway, back here. About to do the next mission. Ah, da 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 da. I think the last time Mia assassinated Lucy Thorn. Uh, about to go do some stuff. Yeah, buddy. Mm, question time again. Uh, what's your favorite candy, man? Like, would you like a kiss? You did there a kiss? A regular Hershey's bar, some Kit Kats, some Snickers. Uh, I don't know. Or do you more like uh, lifesavers or something? I don't know. I make this stuff up as I go. And I think I said this like my first time asking. Uh, do y'all know any free or good uh, video editing softwares or sites or something I can use? Because YouTube trying to shut it down, and I just like I need this. This is how I'm bringing this to you right now. I need some type of thing to put my videos together. Just put it in the comments or something. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Hey, yo, B. What it is? That's a good nickname. Hey, yo, B. I don't care if you don't trust me. Anyway, if y'all guys had a, an alias, what would it be? Like my brother said, if he had an alias, his name probably be like Reggie Cools or something. I don't know. He tried to shoot me. What was I going to do? Not let him shoot me? My bad. That didn't that didn't go as planned. Uh, oops, my bad. Anyway, back to the editing thing. I, I was uh experimenting the other day. I saw this sick editing software, bro. I just do almost anything. Like some split screen stuff, some cool effects. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of thrones than surrender one iota of power. By God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. We could repeal Magna. See, I was close to it, but then some guard thought he was the business and walk up all up in my circle. Oh my goodness, this might be one of them episodes. Anyway, the editing software, it was good as mess, 
but it's like $44 a year. I'm like, you got something like cheaper, bruh? It said if you're like a student or something, you can use some type of discount, but you gotta have, like, you have to go to like some technical something school. I'm like, yo, man, I'm just in it to do some stuff. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the Russians did not elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. That's terrible. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody stones. How? Merely so. because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges who would make these slanderous accusations, I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. I don't think a prime minister should be able to just walk out in public like that. I thought he'd have like at least a couple of guards on him. B, I presume. You just turned around. Where do you think you're going, sir? You ain't going nowhere. So fun. B. My name's Herbert! Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir! Some old bloke paid me to- Smug bastard. My dad never- Don't shoot me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, my gosh, he hit me. I'm gonna catch her. She shot me. <laughs> Dang it. Like, we all are close to the edge, don't you think? But that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, or some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is, you can run from him. Tomorrow! Uh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. I'd drop her off anyway. Uh, uh, Perfect. Shoot me, will you? Let me shoot her, bruh. Dang it. The first time you go through the game, you, you, you sit on the rooftop, and she's like, please, I have children or something. I killed her. But like, shoot me? Shoot B? Ooh, Buster Rhymes out here. Like, shoot me, shoot B? Man, I bet your name is D. 
all you make in school is D's because you fail all the golly time. See, I don't make no sense because these ain't failing. They're just not good. <sighs> just terrible, man. Just terrible. Oh, yeah, I might start do asking certain particular questions that you might not understand, but I might start explaining them some. Okay, who do you think would win in a fight? A legit question here. Who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, Moon Knight or Batman? I'm playing Batman right now, Batman Arkham Knight. I think you should understand his uh, abilities and skills and assets he has. But Moon Knight, he's very similar to Batman. Uh, there's a game called Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This is like, look up Spider-Man Web of Shadows, Moon Knight, and you get to see a small portion of what he's about. But uh, I'll give you a little rundown. He's a mercenary. He was a mercenary, devoted himself to uh, some moon god named Khonshu. Now he does the moon's bidding, but he can, he's super strong, he has a rich alter ego, and he also punches and beats people up. But he's not afraid to use guns. He didn't start out with guns, like he didn't just straight up start killing people, but he's not afraid to. And he also uses tools, like a grappling hook or whatever. I think he uses like a billy club bat or something. Like he does fight with his bare hands, but he also uses like weapons. Come on. There we go. What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life, and the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <laughs> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Where'd they come from? Well, apparently the rooftop. Get out of here. Ooh, got the flexicution. Cause it was execution too, I did. Break your arm, son. Step on your neck. See here. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. That dude runs ugly. Uh, 
Like you ain't gonna get away. Oh no. Okay. See, I'm nobody. I don't look suspicious. Let's go. Get on my back. Keep moving. I can stop following me. That's what you get. I didn't want to do it, but you made me do it. young man I assure you madam Gladstone is innocent in this but he tried to kill my husband well we'll look into Gladstone perhaps you can help me with another inquiry madam a gentleman with ties to Parliament older wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache you seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow mr. Fry <laughs> well yes I am actually and are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city roughly Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Stab that lady in the neck. Anyway, it's been your boy, Grandmaster Matt, the one and the only, the bodyguard, the the the, the, the specialist, the, the quietest one there is, the amazing, the invincible, the incredible, the uncanny, the astonishing, what all the other titles there is. Grandmaster Matt, we're about to end it off here. Peace out.